I was born and raised in uh, northeastern Iowa, born in a small town called Decorah, Iowa. We uh, had a farm, 160 acres, mostly milking about 30 cattle to 30 dairy cows and uh, raising hogs. Uh, I was a farm boy for my high school days and then I went to the University of Iowa for college. I was amazingly able to graduate from that and then I decided to go into medical school and I got accepted for that. So four years of college, four years of medical school. They were drafting doctors into the service for Vietnam. I said, uh, I'd rather not go into the, the uh, Marines where they get, where the doctors are likely to get shot at. So <laughs> I volunteered for the Air Force. July of 1966, I uh, went down to Wichita Falls, Texas for two weeks of basic training. And then I uh, went back up, picked up my wife in Iowa and we went to Beale Air Force Base in Marysville, California. And that was a, a, a great two-year experience. I was a general medical officer seeing patients. I saw military sick call from 7.30 to 8.30 every, every morning, week morning. The base was a few miles, maybe five miles east of Marysville. And it's out in a very flat area right at the base of the foothills to the Sierras. And I don't know exact dimensions anymore, but it had a very long single runway. And they had uh, SR-71s and KC-135s and B-52s. The main reason Beale Air Force Base was well noted was because they had SR-71s, which were a very fast, they call it the Blackbird, it would go somewhere around 2,000 to 2,500 miles an hour at 80,000 feet. And it was used mainly for reconnaissance. One time we're sitting around shooting the breeze and uh, I just asked him, well, how fast is that? I started saying, I want to go, you can tell me. He said, no, I can't tell you that. And he said, but I can tell you that uh, we can leave breakfast at 6.30 in the morning, skirt the United States, uh, have, have refueling on the East Coast and be back by lunch, which is moving right along, I'd say. <clears throat> One weekend, there was a lieutenant colonel who was the commander of the SR-71 group. He came into the hospital, his wife brought him in, and she said he's got bad chest pain. And I said, well, I think you're having a heart attack. We better put you in the hospital. He said, no, no way. They'll take me right off a of flying status. So he turned his wife around and said, we're going home. About three hours later, he came back in in a wheelchair and he had really bad chest pain then. Got him in a bed and he coded. And I tried to uh, give him uh, mouth to mouth and chest compressions. He could have been saved, I think, if we had got to him the first time that he came in. After the Air Force, I started uh, residency training for radiology, which was a three-year residency. I have studies of the first two years. I found a place to practice, and that was in Coos Bay, North Bend. And I was the only radiologist in town at the time. So it, it worked out pretty well, but I couldn't wait to retire. Thank you for watching. If you liked this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up hit the subscribe button, and ring the notification bell so you don't miss out on more videos from Central Oregon Daily News. And for more news from the high desert, just visit centraloregondaily.com.